all right what's going on youtube and welcome back to another video if you like this video and want to see more make sure to like subscribe comment do all that and with that being said we're gonna get right into it so as you can see i'm back on the channel this should be the second video i'm on today or it might get released tomorrow i'm not sure but uh besides that we're gonna get right into it i'm joined by gavin of course yes, so chris paul is saying that or this is a rumor i don't know we don't know if chris paul directly said this but basically they're talking about chris paul denying his 44 million dollar uh player option and going for a multiple year deal so gavin i'll let you elaborate on it first what are your thoughts on this and do you think it's a good idea um i saw this in the morning as soon as i woke up so my head was like what? why would he do that bro like you're in the middle of a playoff series and this news coming out i don't think that's what the team really needs at this moment i felt like whoever put that out could have waited till after their season was done number one and secondly um i think he should stay with phoenix i think phoenix offer him the money he deserves he took three different teams to the playoff um his past three years in the league um i think he literally deserves more money if, in my opinion um because i think that's what he's looking for he's looking for a multi-million multi year deal which um comes with more money so i agree on his decision low key but some i can see why some people don't he's getting late in his career is he really worth that money because he keeps getting injured every time in the playoffs like it only happens in the playoffs right? <laughs> i just don't get it but i agree with his decision he deserves it what i'll say uh i i agree with his decision uh, i think it would be good but He's like, what, 36, 37? So you, I, I don't know if a team like this, he, I don't think anyone but the Suns will offer him one. And two, I feel like if he does do it, I think it makes a lot of sense because it would allow him to, uh, it would allow him to, instead of, you know, being on the books for 44 million next year, he could be on the books, like he could just split it up between like two years or three years, you know what I'm saying? So instead of being on there for 44 million, he could be on there for like 15 million or like 20 million, you know what I'm saying? So then, that frees up some cap space for the Suns to work, so you know they could like work with it and uh you know sign a bigger a big time free agent because right now uh you know they're a really good team though they might get past the Lakers hopefully you know if everything goes right for them but I think the problem is going to be that they just don't have a you know what I'm saying enough star power now maybe you could say that there are some players on the team that could develop into a star like you know because DeAndre Aiden right now uh I don't think it, is he still on his rookie deal uh, uh, I I'm believe sure. so, because but, yeah, I believe so. I know, I know that he's gonna be eligible for an extension pretty soon. So, do you really want to be paying Chris Paul at like 39 years old and then DeAndre Aiden like 20 million a year? Like, nah. So, I would say you know he takes like a four-year deal, and you know he's getting paid like 15 million a year. I feel like that would be not 15 million, probably like 10 million a year. And, you know, I feel like that would you know free up some cap space for them. So they can get another star, and I feel like he'll still get his he'll still get the same amount of money at the end of the day, so it won't be a huge issue. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and so he can have a home. For a month year deal, I feel like he needs to get less money per year, and you know, just so that just to free up some cap space. But yeah, you hit the nail on the head, bro. Um, I think Chris Paul is really looking for a home. He hasn't been really stable in the league these past years, so I get what he I get where he's coming from. Yeah, I agree. I think he's finally because when you think about the last couple seasons for Chris Paul, I mean, what was he? Uh, OKC. Oh, I'm sorry, the Rockets, OKC, and now finally Phoenix. Like, he's like 36 years old. You know what I'm saying? He's obviously still trying to win. You know, he's still trying to win, and he's in a good spot right now. They were just the second seed. You know, they were a pretty solid team. So I feel like. If he's looking for a home, I feel like his home is in Phoenix. Now, the question is, do the Phoenix Suns pay him? That's the big question. Will the Phoenix Suns pay him? And uh, I'll say that they should pay him, but I don't know if they're going to pay him as much as he wants. And what do you think? Do you think they'll pay him for as much as he wants? I mean, <laughs> it's pretty clear they, they should, but will they? I'm not sure. Yeah, like I don't know like I feel like they should like I said because 
you know, you can pay him less money over more years yeah. so that you can free up your cap space. But who knows, like, what Chris Paul is going to be at when he's, like, what is Like, he's, like, 36 now. What is he going to be at when he's 39? He's yeah. already injury prone now. Like, you never know what kind of injury, injury might happen. He misses a whole season. That's money basically in the trash. So, uh, I don't know. You guys let, let us know what your thoughts are in the comments. But with that being said, uh, Gavin, if you have no final remarks, yeah, um, the Phoenix Suns, they're in a good direction for the future. Um, they didn't need to make the right decision. And whatever they um, choose to do is what they have to um, live with for um, however long that deal is. And, yeah, I guess that's it. And, yeah, you're right about that. But if there's nothing else to be said, then this is your boy, Nate and Gavin. Subscribe, comment, do all that. And with that being said, we out.